What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony D2Wild, checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual, back with another banger today, guys, on another Hype Beast Mystery Box unboxing. Now, this one is quite different than the previous ones because this is not from a consignment shop or somebody who does reselling. It's from an actual retail store. Prive, huge shout out to Nicolino, man, for the, you know, for, for uh, having these on deck. They're on his website now. I will link you down in, below in the description. You can actually get 15% off with 15 back on these and they range from, I believe, 25 bucks to $2,000. So you guys can get these from any prices you want. And the difference between this is like this, like I said, with, let me read to you. So I, it's better just to read it. Let me just read this off. Uh, thanks for choosing our mystery box. Expect to get some of your favorite brands picked from our staff. Due to the nature of the product, there are no refunds. And uh, unless there is a defective item, in that case, we will replace the individual item with one of equal value. Let me just say that, that's the disclaimer. And um, expect to receive pleasures, BBC, 10 Deep, Chinatown Market, Hype Beast Magazine, Saucony, Asics, just to name a few, guaranteed, and this is in asterisks, guaranteed to receive product that exceeds retail value of the box of the box purchase. And you know I got the Floyd May weather, weather tongue when it comes to reading, so forgive me. So we're expected to receive more than $2,000. This is a $2,000 box. We're expected to receive more than that when it comes to the retail value. So, um... Yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into it. Let go. All right, guys, so I caught this box. I wanna say, I wanna say I copped it on like Monday. This thing came like Thursday. I've been kinda, you know, I got, I've been backed up. In my stomach too, I've been like, I've been backed up. I've been shitting a lot, I go to the doctor the other day. But yeah, I've been backed up, man. So I finally got this out to you guys. We're gonna go through each and every item and I guess we'll, we know we spent $2,000 and we're gonna see how much this thing came out to be retail wise. Now, and I, I don't know if there is much of a resale value with this, but this is more so like you're just getting a bundle of things for under the retail price, whereas the other ones you usually buy and you could probably get a resale flippages. I, I don't know, we'll just figure it out. We're gonna do all the math at the end of this video. We'll, we'll figure out resale values cost as well as retail value and how much we spent. We know $2,000 is how much we spent. I'm done talking, let's go. First things first, as soon as I open this thing up, this is the in, the contents on the inside. Let's get a thumbnail maybe, just so it can look kind of crazy. You know, you guys hate that thumbnail when I'm like that. Like I'm looking like I'm about to take a shit. I'll just do it real quick. <gasps> oh, whoa! Matter of fact, let me do a real thumbnail so that way it's in the video. Holy shit, wow! You know, that thumbnail is actually in the video. Like it's not like I faked it. My reaction was given to you guys. <laughs> So off the rip, man, I got this BBC uh, shirt right here. This is a sweater, it's long sleeve, and it feels very, very nice and fluffy. BBC, Billion Boys, uh, Billionaire Boys Club. I love BBC. This is dope, though. This is a nice little long sleeve, but the material is like, it's like a blanket material. It is a cotton, but it's like a fluffier, I don't know, the cotton is different. It's stitched, nice, and uh, yeah, feels good on your balls. These will feel really good on your nuts. After that though, we're gonna go through this and then we're gonna figure out the retail. I don't even know the retail price in here, but I believe there should be an invoice in here of how much it costs and we can, we'll, we'll figure it out as time goes on. Next up, we have another package from BBC right here. And this one actually, size large. Everything was in my size. We got right here, this is a $50 t-shirt. So we know that off the rip, $50 t, BBC. This thing has a sticker on it. I don't know what that is. Another BBC shirt right there, Astronaut Sad is on deck, and this is like a green, this is like a, this is like a, I don't know what kind of green color, is there a name of this green? This green looks kind of, like a, this looks like something after I ate a whole bunch of spinach was coming out my ass, but it's nice though. So this is 50 bucks, I don't know what that is, we're on, we're, we're just walking up, we got, man, we got a lot, we got a lot of stuff, we got a lot, it's a lot of shit in here, so, we go, it's gonna be a long video. Next up, we got White, Arresta President, Short sleeve tee, 10 deep. This is from 10 deep. Um, yeah, arrest the president. Donald Trump, I hope is on this t-shirt then. Well, I don't really want a Donald Trump t-shirt, but yeah. Arrest the president, and this looks like some damn Hitler t-shirt. This is actually from 10 deep, size large. Arrest the president. This nigga is wearing a Adolf Hitler Nazi hat, and um, it's a skull. I, I don't know what the hell that is, but I like 10 deep. They're, they're, they're doing their thing still. But um, that I don't know if I feel comfortable wearing a skull 
I'm going out to Germany next week, so I'm definitely not bringing this shirt with me. Fuck that. Next up, this brand I've seen for quite some time, Jacob Star. I've seen it Bull RC. Them two guys, you know, my, those are my bros. I've been seeing them rock this Pleasure brand. And it's good to actually have one of these now in the collection. Pleasures. Uh, I like them. I, I like their full, like, jumpsuits they usually do. And the Pleasures on the back. That's what she said. This is all just inked out print. But it's basically an all red denim jacket with the buttons and all. This is, like, straight YG Sue Wooers on deck. But it's dope. And I could probably get away with it. I just gotta relax on the red out here. It's too much red, I might be dead. You feel what I'm saying? You can't be out here false claiming like Takashi 69. So once again, still no tags on these prices, but we're gonna keep it going. We're gonna keep it going. Right here we have a Kappa t-shirt. And this is like a seem like a jersey more so, Kappa jersey. Retail on this, don't see it. Don't see it. It's Italy. Italy jersey, number 10. I, I, hope, I hope I'm right, guys. I said Italy, I'm ho I hope I'm right. You know I suck sometimes. You guys clap me in the comment section when I'm wrong, but an Italy T Kappa right there, Jersey. This might be too chilly right now, but it is nice. I've been getting on the Kappa vibe slowly, but surely it is something that I, you know, I've been messing with. So it's good to have that in the collection once again. Now, we have a pair of shoes right here, ASIC Tiger. It's been quite some time since I got a pair of ASICs in the collection, but the Tigers are usually good too as well. Let's see how this is, the quality on these. ASIC Tigers, bam, suede is like Punani juices flowing through the air. And this is of like, these colorways like a, like a washed out navy mixed with like a baby blue. It's a couple different type of blues in here. Black, blue, surf. So it's nice, ASIC overall. That's one shoe, we have a Saucony down below too. I don't like that Saucony box that I see though, I ain't gonna lie, that Saucony box is like the runner Saucony box. That shoe might be, that shoe might be uh, a dead, a dead, uh, just clappages. I'm gonna wait for the end. That this, this sock. I don't like these Saucony boxes. These are the running Saucony boxes, so I don't trust that. I feel like we're about to get clapped by that one. I ain't gonna lie. But uh, BBC bags right there. We got like a BBC button down. Tons of BBC in here. Tons of BBC. It's like a tiger stripe camo BBC shirt right there with the embroidery. The retail is $100 on this. Nice, nice quality, real stiff, feels good. You know what I'm saying? Nothing like loosey goosey and uh, feeling fakey wakey and shit. It's real good quality material from BBC. They hold their own, you know what I'm saying? They hold their own. We got a T right here from China Market Town. I don't own any China Market Town, but it has been a brand that I've been seeing a lot of. They've been doing a lot of pop ups in LA. Um, Bulls told me a lot about China Market Town. And this is a China Market Town T. It's regular T China Market. Thank you. Have a nice day on the back. I actually like this a lot. This is a very simple but nice China Market. It's cool to have. It's cool to have. Then we got it here. Born and raised, immaculate heart. I don't know what this is. Born and raised. I. This sounds very familiar. Born and raised. Some born and raised sweatpants. Have no clue about this brand though. Feel free to comment down below and let me know about these. These things look big as hell, though. These are like some Yankee Doodles, my nigga. Yankee Doodle into town, riding on a pony. All right, ooh, okay, okay, okay. We got another BBC. Now, BBC, I like this a lot. This green and black, but damn, Checkers is getting murdered out, man. Off-White brought the Checkers. BBC got the Checkers. Now, even Sample Line D. We actually did it, though, really early, like in January, so I don't wanna hear that shit, but. Yeah, checker BBC hoodie. Always wanted one of these though. I ain't gonna lie. So this is very dope. Green with the black on deck. And this probably costs a good little bit amount. 150. 150 off the hip. Off white on your bit. So uh yeah, shout out to um Prive for throwing that one in there. Cause I definitely been wanting to get my hands on a pair of these. We got a couple more. Ooh, we got a lot of more shit. Damn. We got right here refurbished button down. It says 10 deep. Refurbished button down, man. Hope this shit ain't been like worn by somebody and been refurbished. You know, refurbished means it's been worn and destroyed and brought back to life, basically. I think that's just the name of the type of shirt. It ain't really, good. yeah, it's, that's what it is. Basically, it's like a shirt that was worn and then they sewed it back together with other parts. Really dope. Split. So you got a red flannel, then you got a regular, just like navy, and then like some old damn office chair um, suit shit going on. But it's a nice overall button down the middle. 10 deep right there. What y'all think about this one? I like this one. It's 
gonna look crazy though. You might look crazy, but it's, it's, it's a tacky, nice look. But it is definitely crazy. All right, right here we got another rugby shirt. Is this another Born and Raised? Who the hell is Born and Raised? Born and Raised. I've heard of them. I just don't know who they are. Born and Raised got this uh, damn angel flying, butt ass naked. Well, they all angels, all but angels are butt naked. Born and Raised. Pure of heart, long sleeve stripe. This might be my least favorite item, even though this is still dope. I would rock this like easily. He got games on deck and keep it moving. Easy zebras might be on deck or keep it moving. I do know you guys hate though when you match too much, right? There's too much matching. Fuck it. I gotta do what I gotta do. Okay, and then we still got two more. We got a distorted T large from 10 deep. This one looks dope. I love the the uh, embroidery and stuff that's on the neck. Or not embroidered, but the print. Oh no, this is like a, this is this threading that's white, ten deep, distorted T, shit looking wavy. You got the, you got a supply, ten, tenth division garment, some shit on the neck right there, really dope. Overall, I like this a lot. Clean, clean, clean. And oh man, I gotta go through and figure out these prices. Cause I don't know prices on any of this stuff. Oh, last but not least, damn, carrots. I've heard this brand. This brand's actually been in. Uh, social status in Atlanta. Carrots. They look pretty cool. I just, this bag is dope too. I like the packaging. Carrots. Carrots. That's it. That's all you get. This shirt better be goddamn 15 bucks. Carrots. This shit is big as. God. This shit looks like a fucking 10 buck too, nigga. Linebacker shoulders on deck. Carrots though. It's cool. But if I wear this shirt, people are going to ask me what the hell am I doing with carrots. Now, last but not least, guys, is the scariest of them all. This is a Saucony that I don't like this box. I don't like this box. This is usually a running box. Y'all just tell me if I got clapped. Let me see, I'll feel it. I just feel, I'll feel the shoot and that's how guess what it is. Y'all see it? Right, I'm just gonna feel it, I don't know it. I'm just gonna feel this, feel this. Yeah, this model is like, I think this is a Jazz. I feel like this is a Jazz, cause I, it can't be a jazz because it's not thick enough, but it's like this is. I look at, oh, this is like that. This is a jazz upper with that new sh bottom. So basically, Saucony's been doing stuff where they basically are taking old models and throwing them on the new sole, kind of like how Adidas did with the, you know, um, older models and then put boost on it, like the superstars and whatnot. So I believe this is a jazz. Ever run maybe? Ever runs on the bottom? Let me see. Freedom Runner. Okay. Yeah, and have I can't get jiggy with this as much. Um I mean I could funk it in reality. I could really rock it, nigga, and be cool, but like I wouldn't choose this over anything. You know what I'm saying? Like I got man, I'm telling y'all, put me out there with no money, man. I'll make the perfect fit. I will funk these bitches. You won't even know what these these you won't even know what's going on, bro. Trust me. I had a repair of Reebok Soul Furies out the other day and somebody like, damn, what are those? So yeah, call it what you want. It ain't about the clothes at the end of the day, it's about the mouthpiece, okay? You could be the freshest motherfucker alive and you got no mouthpiece, you ain't getting no play. You could come out with your sweats, top and bottom, gilding, and say what's good, girl, what's your name? Let me take you out to dinner and run it, you know, do all that, and then you pull in the, you know, the baddest girl in the world. Okay? I'm trying to tell you guys out there, keep it buck fifty. So yeah guys, actually I was able to just go on the website and I noticed that everything that's in the box is basically being sold for retail on the website. And that way we can just easily add up the whole prices. I got my phone here for my calculator and these prices on his website are retail prices. This is a retail store. This is not a consignment store. They sell retail product, product that's, you know, yeah, retail, we get it, understand it, okay? Yeah, we got it, all right, cool. So off the rip, this carrots tea, right? Carrots right here. We just started off with that one. I went on the website and actually pulled up the window so we can all look together. Um, and I can show you while we're talking. The carrots tea is going for $48. It was also matched at $48 on the website MLTD or something like that. I, I don't know. Is it Moose Limited? I think that's that website, which is also, you know, another store. So, you know, um, I don't want to talk about other stores though. We're going to talk about Privé. You shout to them for, you know, uh, making this happen. But I want you guys to understand that basically all these prices on there are the same regardless their retail prices. So $48 for the Karis tee. We got the Saucony shoe in there as well, the one that I was just talking about. So I'm gonna look that Saucony shoe up real quick and uh, figure that one out. Oh, come on, internet doesn't wanna work now? Come on, man. 
Next up, the Sockany Freedom Runner. This one right here. This shoe right here that we just looked at, check him out, you know what I'm saying? That is retailing at $120. So 120 plus the 48 we already have. Now we're at $168 right there. Next up is the 10 Deep. The 10 Deep shirt right here. The disordered, the disoriented one. We're gonna check him out. Go to 10 Deep. Is this one on here? No, it's not. Hold on, let me go to brands. I know he got way more 10 Deep than that. We got that refurbished one right there. Yeah, he's gotta have way more 10 Deep. All right, here we go. Disordered T is 55 dollars so we're gonna add in that 55 right there we're at 223 um let me go ahead and get this one too this is that other 10 deep shirt the uh, refurbished joint we're gonna add that in there too and this is net disoriented a lot of this stuff that i noticed when i was looking at it is new it's not like these are like sell items like get them now because it's half off like it's, it says new right here it's new um also the refurbished uh, Tending refurbished button now is also new on the website and it's retailing at hundred and five dollars You can check these prices and confirm them on 10 deep if they match it is what it is do what you want to do This is the born and raised shirt right here. We're gonna type in or maybe we can go to the brands um, Born and raised. This is the T right or the long sleeve right there. We had looked at it's going for a hundred god damn It's going for hundred and sixty dollars hundred and sixty dollars for that t-shirt uh, 488 Next up, the BBC, um, BBC hoodie. I think, I think we got a retail right here for 150 on the tag. So we ain't got to, damn, wh who is born, to, that born and raised thing costs more than the BBC, bro. I'm, I'm asleep. I'm going to figure out who this born and raised person is off the rip. I'm probably, I'm, it's going to be somebody like big that I'm going to feel retarded, but plus 160. And that's, we're at 648 right now. These are also born and raised and these are for 120. So we can add that in there. It's on the website right there for 120. 120. We're at 760. We got uh, the China Market Town Tea right there with the you know with the flower on it. We're gonna go to the China Market. Uh, China Market Town T-shirt. Have a nice day. That is forty dollars. We're at 800. We get, we're getting close on 2,000. I don't know. This might be a thousand dollar box. $100 right here. Maybe I got the $100 one, $1,000 $1, one. 908. Yeah, I must, I must have got a, another version. This, um, this might have been a $1,000 one. Let me check. This is a Kappa shirt right here. And this Kappa one, let's see. Kappa Authentic Soccer Jersey Black. I'm honestly thinking that this is this because it, it's, it just, I'm thinking that this is it, honestly. So I'm gonna put this at 90. It's a $90 jersey. This gotta be it, cause it's black and it's a regular this Kappa jersey. Authentic, Walson, yeah. Oh wait, I'm tripping. Oh wait, that's it down here, this is it. This is the jersey. Is this the same? No, it's, it's, like, it's like the same, but it's not the same. What the hell? They're all going for $90 at the end of the day. We'll just give it $90. Bro, I feel like I honestly said $2,000. It must have been, I must have bought a $1,000 one. I'm confused now. We got this pleasure, I gotta check. I gotta check and see. We got this pleasure um, denim jacket right here. Pleasure, 150. We're now at 1148. Uh, we got right here this BBC shirt, the first one we reviewed. BBC. Let's see real quick. BBC 50. We got that. Uh, let me see. Long sleeve. There's a lot of BBC on here. Goodness. BBC is $95. Brand new, sold out. 95. We got the 10 deep T-shirt that we just got. Let's see real quick. Rest of President, that's $35, $35. And then we got this BBC right here for 50 bucks. And then last but not least, the ASIC Tigers. Let's see how much these are going for. Now after that, I gotta go check and see if I bought a thousand or two thousand. I swear I thought I bought a two thousand dollar one. Cause if it ain't, something ain't right. We'll figure it out though. $120 for this one right here with a grand total of $1,448. So, um. Yeah, let me check this and we'll be right back because I don't want to get this wrong. All right, guys, so going through my emails and whatnot and going through Privé and confirming, I did purchase the $1,000 mystery box, not the $2,000. So, uh, yeah, I feel like a dumbass because this whole time I was talking about at the end of the day, we spent a grand and we got $1,400 worth of, $1,500 really, in the end of the day, $1,500 worth of stuff. Uh, maybe basically, we made, you know, we got $500 worth of savings from this and this is all new items. If you want to see a $2,000 one, then 
please feel free to comment down below in the uh, you know comment section because then I'll go with the big boys and I'll just go boss up and get the you know two thousand dollar box. As far as uh, resale wise, I don't think there's much of a resale value in all this stuff because a lot of this stuff is you know on still on the websites. But like uh, for instance, let's just let's just look. I'll just look for something like one of those BBC T-shirts or something. Let me just see. I know BBC is like on StockX and stuff, so let's see BBC um, hoodie. And they're not do they don't see they don't even they just do they don't even do. Yeah, they don't. I guess they don't do BBC on there, except for like the collabs with Pharrell. So, so overall, let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions. Do you like these more because it's more of a retail instead of this having to go for the hype beast boxes? I don't know. We'll get more stuff popping and more panties dropping at the end of the day. But uh, if you want to see that video of 2K, let me know down below in the comment section. It's your boy Tony D2Wild. I'm checking in. I'm checking out. I love you guys. Peace.